Ever since Hiram came out in closed beta, I've seen people complaining that the game is pay to win, and I'm here to tell you today that it's not, and let me explain. Now, just on the Hiram's Discord server, I've seen so many people call the game pay to win. Here's the thing though, in High Realms, pain doesn't make you win, and the beauty of the game is that there is no win. Everyone has different goals in the game, and there is no actually an endpoint. Maybe your goal is to build a cool island, maybe your goal is to collect every weapon, or maybe your goal is to collect as much money as you can. I think a lot of these players are islands players, and they only really see money as the end goal. And that was definitely a big problem we had back in islands. Uh, many people just saw getting rich as the endpoint, since that was what was in the leaderboard, or just money, whoever had the most money was at the top. However, that isn't the case in High Realms, there is no actual endpoint, and even if you're paying, you're not really winning. True, if you spend money on coins, you can buy things faster than free to play players, but uh, you still need to actually grind the masteries and levels to be able to buy them. And what's really the point of paying all the way for everything? Like, surely it's actually more fun to grind stuff yourselves. Like, if you're spending money, go for it, you're supporting the devs and that's great. But money isn't going to make everything fun, since you're just pretty much skipping half the progression in the game. Like, I think it can still be fun to actually grind for stuff, and the thing is that not everything in the game is going to be super easy to get, and if it was super easy to get, then that would just be boring. Like, if you're paying all the way for the best things, in my opinion, there's no fun in that. But if you do want to spend your money to skip, go ahead, you're supporting the devs, and I think that's the important part of it. Like, the devs are still gonna need to make money somehow, and these game passes like coins aren't really paid to win, since, you know, you still have to grind for progression and stuff, and, uh, yeah. The next thing I've seen people complain about are the limited Robux portals, and blocks, of course. So, here's the thing about them, though. They will be actually open to free to play in the future, but not in the way you think. DV actually mentioned that they'll be adding a marketplace and players will be able to sell these limiteds and yes, the chances are, uh, they'll still be very expensive and yes, the players who have bought them with Robux will probably get like really rich from selling these but as I mentioned, money isn't the end goal of high realms and these portals are just cosmetics, they're not giving a massive advantage or anything uh, to the players that have them. If you are free to play and want them, as I said, they'll be accessible to you in the future, they may be expensive, but that's just because they're limited. But on that note, I think I'll leave it there. The takeaway of today's video is that the game isn't pay to win, because there is no win. You can build your dream island, you can build farms for your underlings, and sure, if your goal is to make money, that's great. Just remember though, there's no actual fun in buying everything straight away. But sure, if you want to spend money, go ahead, because you're supporting the devs. And I'm gonna be honest, like, if you look at every popular Roblox game, there are dev products, there are Robux purchases, and that's in order for devs to be able to profit off the game so they can make more updates. If they removed every single game pass and dev product, then, you know, they wouldn't really be able to make anything, since, you know, it's really hard to make a free-to-play game and profit on it at the same time. But hey, that's just the theory. Uh, Oh wait, this isn't a theory video, but if you haven't checked out my theory videos, check out this playlist on the end screen for you. But as always though, this is Cosmic Khan's Blasting Off, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.